So in our coastal zone, we have all kinds of wonderful, uh, fantastic resources and also a, a ton of um, vexing challenges. One of the reasons we have such a cool coastal zone is we have wonderful geographies, wonderful um, topographies that are funky and interesting like this little rock pinnacle. Full of cormorants and all kinds of uh, uh, birds using that as a refuge from the mainland. And then if we look down, um, we can see right now, right now we're filming this in late summer, you can see a relatively mature kelp canopy, this brown stuff sitting on top of the ocean. This is the very topmost of Macrocystis pyrifera, giant kelp, um, one of the most, if not the most, productive photosynthetic organisms in terms of biomass accumulation on the planet. That's here in the coastal zone. That's so productive because of these fantastic uh, resources, fantastic energies, all this stuff that mixes. Then, as we sort of turn and come in a little closer um, to the coast, we see other uh, uh, crazy things. So one, you might see a couple folks here recreating, either people uh, sitting off on the cliff or people paddling through the, the kelp beds, having some recreational enjoyment and, and some entertainment and fun. But also, if we look at this promontory here, we see this big uh, fancy house and we see, um, we see some rock cliffs. And then just to, just to uh, our side, just to the landward side, we see this um, concrete pour, this big giant um, dumping of concrete. That is an effort to protect that particular structure. As we zoom uh, over here, we can see also some fantastic benches. And as we look at this bench right here, um, this, by bench I mean this flat area of, of a rocky promontory, we see uh, a gradation. We see, as we look towards the ocean, we see a lot of um, browns and a lot of dark colors and tans. As we come up, we see more greens and eventually we see more bare rock. All of this is an example of the, the wonderful matrix that is our coast and also our interest in the coast that makes this such a fun place to study and such a challenging place to manage. Unlike our fields, unlike our volcanoes and all these other things, there is a very, very clear line when we talk about the coast. It's right where the land meets the water. It's right where the water meets the land. And this isn't going anywhere. So this doesn't stretch out for hundreds and hundreds of, of, of square miles. It's a linear strip. Everybody wants to be here. Everybody wants to do stuff here. And so that means that the recreational people want to be on top of the homeowners that want to be on top of the fisher folk that want to be on top of the economic development that want to be on top of the environmental preservationists and so so all these resources mixed together right here in our coastal zone makes for um, all the wonder and all the challenges that we'll be exploring in coastal and marine management.